second of all, you can't even have the Halloween face mask on in there, man. I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe he's talking about the face paint like Mac. Well, Mac do have wear the face paint, so maybe he's right about that. But we can't avoid Mac, man. That's my dog, man. That's my dog. That's my dog for sure. Uh hey, guys. It's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents from my daddy. Hello! Land, man. Check this out, man. So it all started with this tweet from that boy Job Bridge Forth that says the guide on who to avoid in wreck, man. Now, I gave y'all a miniature guide on who to avoid in wreck, man. And 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 just tons of that. Cause I am the wreck warrior extraordinaire, the, the random wreck warrior extraordinaire. I go in there and get my head beat in by these randoms and, and all of that where people just don't care. They don't pass the ball. They don't care about the center. They don't care about defense. They don't care about anything. It's just like you know, and, and whatever you do. You're going to lose the game just because people don't pass the ball in there, man. And we're going to talk about that, the UPA, and a lot more in one moment, man. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go with this thing. To the moon, Alice! And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all, my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all. Back to job, man, with this list on who to, who to avoid in the wreck, man. Hey, it just says, hey, listen, after reaching level four of the past two seasons through solo wreck, this is what I have come to know uh, so far. What This is what you want to avoid. The three-point shot hunter, you, you got to avoid that. Anybody with Don or the Don in their name, anybody with the name that references a rapper, Okay, <laughs> anybody with YT or TTV in their name, facts. Hey, players with drippy face scan creations. You already know that. Uh, my my players with a black and tattooed neck. Yo, 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 they got the black dot neck. I know exactly what he's talking about on that one. Um, they said my, my uh, bigs that sit in the paint and say I'm open. I'm open, man, pass me the ball. Then proceed to take 70% contested shots every time they get it and blame 2K. You know they do that. They're, Come on, 2K. Hey, let's move it out here right here, right, right quick. It's a uh, bigs that don't set screens. Now, I'm not going to lie to y'all about that. Like, we actually avoid bigs that set screens. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to... I don't know. I don't know if I'm rocking with that one though, because we, we avoid them bigs that set screens. Y'all let me know if I'm wrong down in the comment section. Anybody that dribbles for 10 seconds on the shot uh, for 10 seconds uh, off of the shot clock. I ain't gonna say sometimes a guy trying to figure something out. Um, anybody with the Halloween face mask. Hey man, first of all, I resemble that remark. You know what I'm saying? First of all, that's just first off. Second of all, you can't even have the Halloween face mask on in there, man. I don't know what he's talking about. Maybe he's talking about the face paint like Mac. Well, Mac do wear the face paint, so maybe he's right about that. But we can't avoid Mac, man. That's my dog, man. That's my dog. That's my dog for sure. All right, anybody, so said, anybody with the name that mentions uh, themselves, the greatest, uh, too smooth, NX, <laughs> and then anybody who has an open mic, uh, from load in, Mark, bro, bro, press, press the button on your mic, man. They will complain the entire game. Govern yourselves accordingly. I also told y'all, man, listen, if you see somebody named something nice, D nice, or any nice, any of that stuff, this is how they're going to be playing right here, bro. Not even going to lie to you. you. You see D nice in there? That's D nice. That's, that's exclusive footage of D nice right there, man. This is, this is D nice and his squad. It's probably A nice right there. Uh, you know, this dude right here, bro. This dude with the uh, ponytail joint up on top of his head, just swear he the coldest to ever do. And we know the coldest to ever do would play for Southern right now, I think. But that dude right, bro. Listen. Speaking of which, y'all know I used to do. I do a lot of Colorado videos on my other channel, bro. Listen, if I'm a recruit and I know I'm not going to the league or something, I'm looking at this team and I am like, like this is how people were looking at Colorado right here. They looking at Colorado that play certain positions salivating because they're like, yo, I know I'm getting burned if I go there. This dude, they getting the brakes beat off them by Bruto team, South Dakota State, North Dakota State University, right? And this is Oak Hill. These are the best players that you can find, bro. And, and I don't want to blow it up because I don't want nobody to try to, uh, you know, hit me with the thing. But these are the best players that you can find. I'm 45 and I'm better than all of these guys right now. Like what? I'm salivating. Like, yes, I'm going there because I'm getting the ball every time. We're going to get our head beat in, but I'm going to have 60. Like, I'm going to look like MJ. MJ, Jesus to these dudes. I'm going to look like LeBron. The, the, the f*** you threes are coming in 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 droves. Like, I'm I'm really like, yo, let me get, can I get some runs, gangy? Like, I, like, no lie. Like, if, like I'm, I'm telling y'all straight up, if I am 
a player and I know I ain't going to the league. I get a free education from a respected school and I see this, I'm trying to run. I'm trying to get there and go because, bro, it, it, it can't get no worse than that right there, bro. But anyway, let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Y'all understand what I'm saying? Like, you know you ain't going to the league. At least I might as well go somewhere and get some shots up, man. Speaking of going to the league, man, hey, that boy, uh, that boy Hoff, man, played great this weekend, man. He said, hey, why is this actually fact? Shock says, hey, if Hoff didn't have VE in his name, y'all would consider him a good center. But that's another conversation. Shaka always bringing up these think pieces and stuff like that. Right, wrong, and different. Some of them, a lot of them I agree with, a lot of them I don't agree with. It is what it is. You can you can agree to disagree and all that good stuff. He says, hey, man got two snatch blocks and didn't even get hype, bruh. I, I mean, didn't even get hype, bruh. I was like, you mute, whatever, it is, you know what I'm saying? You got, you got, uh, you, you good at the game, but energy like you, like, but, but it, I can't read what he's trying to say. He's just saying energy is just as important as gameplay. And then Hop says, in your opinion, this is true. And then Joe Knows chimes in with the level-headed response that says, hey, and he, this is what I say. This is how I played the game. I would do stuff and just, you know, I, I you know, like LeBron, quick flex or, or, you know, one of them Tiger Woods or whatever like this. But, hey, some of the best professional athletes in the world are calm and focused and don't get hyped because they make a play. They expect greatness, so they don't need they don't need to tell you about it. But uh, BU Hoff, congrats on a great weekend, bro. Hey, like I said, you couldn't have said it better right there, man. That's really what it is. A lot of people that expect greatness. I'm, I'm not getting hyped for hitting the shot or something. Like, you do it for stream. If you're st streaming, you do it for stream and stuff like that, man. But I probably would get more hype when something that should happen doesn't happen if that makes sense because i expect more out of myself so y'all 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 understand what jono is saying right there and now to the ph to resist <laughs> hey uh not ph to resist though we got to talk about this right here my boy splashy like he say this this is this is facts though hey hey yo now that upa is over a bunch of dudes said that they were gonna spit on each other all sight and smack the and, and smack the shit out of each other when is that happening uh <laughs> <laughs> oh my god then he said did you say that buddy he said yeah to you <laughs> bro what <laughs> then you say 9 p.m sharp man hey man this is hilarious <laughs> oh my god <laughs> to, to f oh my name is is what else bro this though this too funny man dudes be having me having me dying on this joint man but hey this is this is what we talking about right here this is what we really talking about the two tack allegations. They say two tack beat the allegations or what have you. And they just say Zen allegations beat check 27 points, three assists, two steals, 11 of 19 uh, from from the field, five of 11 from three. And you know, they're saying, you know, that's that's live, you know, come watch now. And so people were saying, like, uh, I missed it. Did he make any reds? And so they put that out there. They, they letting you know, like, it was like the first shot he took, took during the game. Uh, he made he made a red and uh, this is one of them reds. This is one of them reds that I've said it shouldn't even been a red. I watched almost all of it. I missed some of it, but uh, yeah, that's one of them. That I'm like, bro, that shouldn't even been a red because because the reason that Two Tack took the shot is because he's not in position. See what I'm saying? So he's kind of there, but he's not really there, and then he don't even really get a contest, you know, on it. So, but he shot it. It was a red. Bam, he made it. That's probably the only red that he made the, the whole time. I'm sure he made another one or something like that. And I probably just missed it because I was playing the game, but I was watching it very intently um, during it. Did he beat? Uh, so, and then, so somebody came back and said, hey, man, where them eight for eight, seven for seven games. And so, boom, they put it up there and uh, it live and in living color for, for everybody to see. Here we go. Here's an eight for eight. This is a 14 for 15 game, 52 points. Um, you know, and, and this is against one of the best locks in the game, I, I feel like. But at the same time, came back and my boy Bauer said, nah, we, we going to take that back. And and so he said, hey, Bauer says no break points in game two. Nice offense, but you know, they're they going back and forth. But still, this game, he shot five for 12, three for 10 or what have you. Now, this was the consensus all weekend that Tutak was playing outstanding. Um, He played a play. Look, this is my diagnosis. Play, played a very good game. He played very well. He shot, um, hit a lot of open shots, which is what you're supposed to do. His signature move, the the size up behind the back pull, you know, like, like you know, everybody was doing that, though. <clears throat> and then pull. Um, he was hitting that with very high efficiency. I think that, um, I think that he played very well. I think he played himself into, you know, a lot of people were watching to see how he would play on stage. I don't think he disappointed anybody except for the people that expected him to do the things 
that he does offline or that he does online offline and so uh but and i'm saying that to say this like when you see ao go and do a workout when, when he went and did like we see how ao plays we see how all those guys play but when they try out for a team they're not going to play the same way that they played and so I'm, I'm, I'm gonna try to give him some grace on this one because Splashy ain't giving no grace. That boy Splashy said, hey, after watching the whole UPA event, Tutac is not bad without his script. I, I concur, Tupac is, Tupac is not bad, but the dude is dead. But the dude is freaking cheating. Kill, <laughs> kill me, call me a hater. That dude is freaking cheating. Now, I can definitely see how Splashy came to that, to that conclusion because like we said, the, the, he was he was he played very well but the things that that you expected out of him or expected to see him do just completely disrespect defenses and shoot contestants and stuff like that he wasn't doing now again like we said a, a lot of times that happens when they're up they're up a lot and they, and they just they just effing off you know a lot of that happens when they're front running a lot of that happens in different situations like you don't get context with a lot of those uh with a lot of the uh, the Twitter joints that you see, you don't get a whole lot of context. It could be some, some of that stuff when they lose and some of it when they win it. I just think that that even though he did hit some grit shots and stuff like that, it's the consistency for everybody. It's not the fact that you can do that because obviously you can do that on stage. But um, a lot of a lot of people said also the consensus was that when they were on main stage, uh, he didn't he didn't do you know the greatest greatest. But when he was on the when he was on the uh, other stage, it was just fine. So, uh, you know, side stage, he was fine, but main stage with all the lights and everything on, you know, it is what it is. That boy, hey, that boy Quavo said, two tack, I got my eye on you, my boy. And then Chalk says, nah, they completely changed shooting and the heavies don't fall like they did. Uh, he also he also has a significantly lower usage rate. I could, I could give you that. Um, plus, plus in person and delay, uh, plus in person and delay, I guess that's different is what he's trying to say. Uh, that was the only bad game he played. I agree with that. He only played one bad game, maybe a couple of bad games where he shot bad. Um, but like they said, some people said he missed more shots. <laughs> I saw somebody say, man, Tutac missed more shots today than he missed over the last four months, man. Like that's, that's insane, man. But the, the, the hate was real. Like I said, I didn't see anything that made him, that made him not, um, that made him play himself out of a spot or anything like that. But at the same time, like you said, you're looking at it and you're like, okay, like this is not what we expected. But again, if when you see the professor go and play with NBA players, he's not doing the stuff that he does off, you know, when he's in the park on his YouTube channel. So, hey, he said, hey, uh, he did the same. <laughs> he did the same thing. Uh, and you saying it's a script. Come on, bro. And then some splashy say, hey, same thing. I said, hey, what same stuff? What same stuff are you talking about? He says he's playing the same. Um, I'm. It's just. It's just tougher competition. He's shooting crazy shots. He's hitting them. Uh, he's hitting shooting crazy shots and he's hitting them. Just the. Just this is a big stage. Uh, so, I mean, I, I never cared about the the, the, the the you know online and the stage or whatever. Like when I played in practice, is how I tried to play in the game. But I, I get what he's saying though. It's something you're not used to. It can't happen. Uh, so sometimes he bricks. Uh, they watching, they watching where he where he at the whole game, bro. I I I, I be trying. I'd really be. I really try. I really try. But y'all grammar is up. Is is reprehensible. It just is. Hey, they said they not watching the dude. <laughs> they not watching the dude. They watching Josh. Show me the step back shimmy fade from half court for ten dollars right now. And he said, why would he do that? Why would he do that? Uh, in the UPAs, he did that on regular games for lame cheese I, I can give you that right there and he says i agree with busy he's decent but he ain't uh he ain't nothing special without it and then uh you know like we said last thing last thing hey listen man i'm not gonna uh, i agree what wait a minute brother was he talking to splash he talking about splash i agree busy <laughs> <laughs> Y'all idiots, bro. I agree, business. He decent, but he ain't nothing special without it. I would say I came to the same um, prognosis that that uh, Two Tag is a very good player. He's doing this thing. I'm not. I'm not mad at it at, at all. Uh, I'm not surprised at the performance that we saw or any of that. But the, he's not the same player in person that he was offline now a lot of like i said a lot of that could have been you playing with different players a lot of that could have been you're not getting to take as many shots so you got to be super efficient which he was and all of that stuff it's a different game man different defenders better players better defenders all that stuff and like you said you're not in the comfort of your own home and you're not just flat out um you're just not comfortable i guess is what the best thing to say is but i will say this 
I don't think he heard his draft stock in it. I think he he raised it. I think he answered a lot of questions. As far as what the people from the pros wanted to see, I think he 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 gave them what they wanted to see. Can you hit open shots? Can you get open? Can you hit off the dribble? Can you do those things? Can you play good defense? All that good stuff. Do you have a good understanding of the game? And I actually heard them say a lot that you can just tell that he's at a he's at a high level, but he's just not at the pro level yet. And take, he's not taking those pro level shots and hitting those pro level shots yet. So what they're saying is, you and, and I guess that's what they're talking about as far as, you know, knowing when you're open, knowing what shots you can take, knowing what you can get away with in the game, how you can augment things and stuff like that. So like I said, overall, wasn't mad at it. Um, but I do agree with Splashy that not 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 about a script or anything, but I do agree with Splashy that what we saw from him there is not what we normally see from him every night. But like we said, like Tox said, uh, they changed a lot of stuff and uh, he was on the main stage, maybe been a little bit nervous and all that good stuff. So we'll see how that plays out, man. Um, maybe maybe um, if they did change it though, we shouldn't see him doing any of that anymore on the regular game, right? Is what we are saying? I don't know, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. It is what it is. I just feel like, hey, uh, we'll see what happens and um, we'll go from there. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section, man. Y'all think Tutac was cheating? Y'all think he wasn't? Y'all think that, uh, that, that you know, he just changed his game to fit? Because like I said, you go to open runs, you're going to play differently. If you are the if you are the guy and you know you're getting the ball every time, you will definitely play differently and a little bit more loose than you're going to play when you're on a team of guys and you really don't have that much chemistry with. And then you got to kind of get in where you fit in. So I definitely understand both sides of it. Um... Who y'all think is right? Splashy right or chalk right? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. It's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. Guys,